Today we're going to teach you the five home smash workouts that's going to instantly increase your smash speed and you're not going to need any fancy equipment, any fancy coaches. All you're going to need is you, your mindset, and your muscles. Our first exercise is called the starfish tuck. What you have to do for this is from your starting position, you want to go side by side, shoulder width on your feet, using your arms coming down and then jumping up as high as you can. Now while you're in the air, you're going to do a full expansion with your torso open and arms open and your legs both coming back as well. At the same time in the air, while you're fully expanded, you're going to tuck mid-air and come down. So fully, it's going to be up, open, tuck, and then down. This exercise is very important in helping you keep your momentum during your smash. So by doing this, you're able to come up, open, tuck, while all staying in position with a centered balance and come down in a position where you're ready to recover after you've hit a solid smash. A second exercise that you can do at home is swing with weighted rackets. Now, if you don't have a weighted racket, you can grab a second racket and put it together and that can be your weighted racket. When you're doing a weighted racket exercise, you want to make sure to go through all your swings. So first is the overhead swing. Second is the drives on both sides. Third is the lifts. Fourth is the backhand. And fifth is the kills, okay? And you want to make sure you go as fast as you can while still as solid as you can. But when you're practicing the swing, you don't have to focus too much on forehand and backhand. Just focus on one side and swing solid and small as you can, maybe a hundred reps for each. And then after you can go back to one racket and you'll see how light it's become. A third exercise are going to be chest flies. Chest flies is when you take two weighted objects with your arms as straight as possible with a slight bend in your arm, come in and you can feel that in your pectoral muscles. Why this is important is because in our previous weighted racket exercise, we've already worked on our wrists and our forearms. Next, if we want to increase our smash speed, you'll see that after contact here with our wrists and forearms, we actually use a lot of our pecs to bring the rest of the shot down. When you're doing the pectoral exercise, make sure you want to keep your arms as straight as possible while still keeping a bend in your arm so that you're not over bending your elbows. And you want to focus as much as possible on the center of your chest and squeeze at the end. At the whole time, you want to keep your core tight while doing this. You can do this with either a fly machine or you can two, take two weighted objects, lie down and fly on a chair. A fourth home exercise to increase your smash is going to be jump ropes. You'll see that in smashes, especially professionals who smash super well, they have that perfect balance of when to relax and when to tense up. And jump rope is exactly that. When you're jumping rope, while it's going past you, you're in a relaxed state. And while you have to accelerate, you're tensing up, especially once you start moving to doubles jump rope, triples jump rope especially triples. If you can do triples and jump rope, then you'll have a very good sensation of the relaxation and tensing up of your muscles during a smash. Our last exercise for you, especially you, when you don't have access to cords and multi-shuttle and coaching, is the wall smash exercise. This is very similar to doing multi-smashing exercise, but you are working on your muscle endurance and your power and your ability to get into position fast enough to smash repeatedly. So what you want to do for this exercise is you want to take a bird, you want to go up to the wall, you want to try to hit it like a clear. Boom, boom. And you want to hit it as far as possible every time. You'll notice that your arm gets sore very quickly, so you need to make sure to keep your small, swing as small as possible while still swinging as fast as possible to generate that power. That will increase your muscle strength, your swing speed, your recovery time, and also your smash speed. If you like this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and join our Discord community with over 800 badminton enthusiasts just like you. And join our YouTube memberships to get access to more in-depth, advanced training badminton guides.